pair up sa set ng outputs or we call range. Okay, so ganito siya pag nakamapping siya. Pag nakamapping yung ating uh, ma eh, pag naka-arrow or mapping na format, ganito makikita yung relation. Okay, itong A is a, really, is a function kasi exactly once nagamit yung isang item or isang element sa input sets. Set natin. Okay? Although, yung N sa output ay naka-pair up sa Q. We have QN and then RN. It does not matter. It's still a function kasi mas ano tayo, mas tinitignan natin yung input element. Tapos, ito rin. Ito yung, ito yung ating many to one. Itong A is called many to one na relation and it's a function. Yung B natin is yung one-to-one -one function natin kasi exactly one element from the do domain is paired up with exactly one element sa rate. Okay? Tapos yung relation naman na nasa letter C is not a function because of this. Ayan, madali siya makita pag nakamapping simply because yung Q nakadirect sa more than na isa na output value. <laughs> okay? Another way uh, na pakita yun is by definition, di ba? It's a set of ordered pairs. Tara! Relation. Ayan. Kitang-kita naman dito. Set siya. And then we have ordered pairs. Pag naman nakaganito siya, na, uh, nasulat yung ating uh, set or ang ating relation, ang titignan natin is yung mga first and uh, first elements. Yung first elements natin, sila rin yung domain natin. Sila yung elements ng domain. So dito, ang domain natin is the set containing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5. And since hindi na ulit yung elements natin, hindi siya naka-pair up to more than one element sa output, therefore, the example is a function. So, yung range naman natin is the set containing negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So, that's how it look for the domain and the range. And of course, pag nakagraph naman siya, we have the vertical line test. Hindi ako nakapag... Hindi pala ako nakapagmagal. So, yung pinaka-add na natin, yung... Um, lower degree functions natin is yung linear tsaka quadratic. So, yun na rin yung pwede natin mabigay na example sa vertical line test. So, vertical line test kasi ang sinasabi is that when we drop a vertical line anywhere along doon sa ating Cartesian plane, if matouch niya yung graph more than once, therefore, it's not a function. But this one, yung linear function natin is of course it function linear function natin. and kasi once lang siya natatamaan kahit saan siyang vertical line pati yung quadratic okay so sila yung mga lower degree functions natin yung linear and quadratic I think ito yung mga sa unang anong materials to describe and tama compare and contrast yung linear Okay, so ang unang-unang syempre yung difference ni linear function at saka ni quadratic function is yung degree nila. Mm -hmm. Yung degree ng linear function is what? Okay, so yung degree ng linear function is 1. Tapos, ang degree naman ng quadratic function ay 2. Diba? So, yung degree natin na ikita doon sa highest exponent. So, ito kasi 1. So, degree niya ay 1. Ito naman ang highest exponent ah. ay 2. Kaya, naging degree niya ay 2. By definition, yun yung difference ni linear function at ni quadratic function. 
So I'll say it again, yung linear function is a function whose degree is 1. And a quadratic function is a function whose degree is 2. Okay, yun yung major difference agad nila. Pag naman, inunan natin yan sa equation or yung kanilang general equation, we have linear function y equals mx plus b. And then, nandun na rin agad yung characteristics niya, m being the slope b being the y-intercept na may mas 